hello and welcome um, we are studying tree data structure and in the last class we implemented the binary node uh, binary node has three data members data of type integer and two left and right pointers for the left and right children and we wrote uh, three um, constructors and uh, uh, three getter and three setters for uh, data members and then we also have seen the implementation of uh, uh, this binary node to uh, binary node template so this class template again has three data members and the type is parameterized that means type is uh, used here as a parameter and same three constructors and uh, three setters and three getters for the three data members uh, were also implemented so I have uploaded these two um, two classes this is binary node class so and this is uh, the class template so um, I hope you understand well um, both the classes uh, I have uploaded on EL side so you can see the implementation over there so now we and uh, and also we also have um, we have tested the binary node template class so let me let me uh, run this one So you can see A, B, C, D, E, uh, five, mm, five nodes uh, are created with uh, these uh, specifications and then the five nodes are printed. So now let's uh, create um, a class um, for the binary tree. So let me add new item. So header file here binary tree. So again, you can put some. Uh, um, let me increase the size okay okay this one is okay i think if not define binary tree underscore edge then define binary tree underscore edge and end if so we can write our class between defined at end if so then uh, class binary tree so we can have here so also you can include binary node template dot h 
so, so this is the class we already have here and we can uh, make class template here so I hope now you can understand and uh, you, you you can do easily you understand the templates and you can do easily so so let's uh, have here private section and uh, public section in private section we we declare data members so one node root and uh, it is a pointer one node pointer that is something um, pointer to the root node I hope you understand what is root node so to um, th this is the only uh, node we need to know uh, about the tree so and then we can have in public section so let me let me show you let me show you uh, this is the class diagram of uh, binary tree class so we have just one data member and then there are many functions function members so first one is constructor then get and set root function get a setter for the root data data member and then is empty get count how many nodes get count binary node these are two functions so overloaded functions here you can see uh, a function without any parameter and here a, a node is provided and the the both uh, both uh, functions uh, return the integer type and number of nodes and similarly get height and get height again two functions so basically in these uh, functions uh, uh, we use recursion so this is something the recursive risk recursive function and this is something uh, we say auxiliary function or uh, a help function uh, that uh, is used to do recursion so we we will thoroughly study recursion then you will easily understand so similarly get height that means depth of the tree so our level depth level or height we have different names for this uh, that mean uh, how deep the uh, tree is so then uh, get leaf count that is how many how many nodes that are leaf nodes leaf nodes are nodes uh, that have not any any child left or right child they they do not have any left or right child so then uh, you can see here in order in order in order with stack so three functions so this is uh, something a way to uh, go through this tree that mean how can we uh, reach the at uh, I elements in the tree so th there are three ways in order pre order and post order post order so each for each um, each way mm, there are uh, three functions so the first two functions uh, f um, they are used for uh, uh, the recursive way uh, for the in order traversing and uh, in order traversing can also be done using stack so we will see this one also similarly pre-order and post-order 
and last one is uh, level order that is another way to traverse the tree we will see all these uh, ways we will understand and I will also show you the implementation of uh, each so then uh, uh, so let's uh, um, have uh, some uh, functions here so first function is uh, binary tree and this is uh, a constructor uh, default constructor so then we have another function so that is a destructor so destructor so these are two functions and then we we can we can also implement this function here as a template function function template so we need here uh, here is a body and uh, before it we need the class name so because this is class template so we need to end add angle bracket and inside the parameter for the type so here we can put root as a null ptr so as we used to do um, in most of the cases so we can have so one more thing is because uh, this is uh, a template function function template so we we need to add and again we need to add here and then we also need to add before this function and uh, we can put here okay our destructor is nothing and then we can add more functions a setter and getter for the root node so we can add a function void set root set root and this root need a node so it is a setter for root node so it need um, binary node so we provide a node pointer and it will set that node pointer as a root node so we can implement this function like this one so um, it is also a template function function template and uh, it is uh, we need to put this one here and here we can simply uh, put root equal to node so its implementation is simple and uh, similarly uh, we can have binary node in this uh, a sorry get root get root function it will return a pointer to a binary node and uh, it will return the pointer 
uh, for the root node so return returns the uh, root node pointer right so um, we can implement this function like here again it is a, a function template and uh, we need to put class name and resolution operator just before the uh, function name and in body we can just uh, return root so uh, using these uh, uh, these functions uh, we we can uh, create a tree so let's uh, let's uh, um, test this tree binary tree we can import or include this header file and uh, um, we can have here um, we can have here one uh, one function one function that is something uh, um, one function that can return here we can write some function uh, that can uh, return a binary tree binary tree and this function will return binary tree so and its name is uh, make tree so uh, this may be binary tree of uh, integers and uh, then uh, we can have a binary tree and uh, this tree maybe we can call this function make tree so this function will return a tree so let's see um this kind of tree we want to make so you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 nodes in this tree and these are 3 5 17 and 20 are leaf nodes so uh, we can create all node um uh, using the constructors in the binary node class and then uh, this uh, 14 node node number 14 we can say okay this is node number 14 this is node number 4 N node name is 3 node n9 and 15 we can name it Im name each uh, each node like this one so this 14 n14 14 is a uh, is the node that is named uh, we can say it is a root node and it has the uh, two children and then uh, four has again two children four has a uh, children uh, three and a nine node so we can make this uh, these uh, nodes and i already have made so i will show you so binary 
let me copy this one here in make tree function so in make tree function you can see uh, node 3 is uh, created uh, with the data 3 and the binary node type is integer integer and the it has not any let me show you uh, here so this is something node number 3 node number 3 is created its left and right pointers are null pointers and then node number 5 is also created n5 its name is n5 so um, and then uh, node 7 7 is created and you can see its uh, left child is node 5 and its right child is null pointer similarly we can see here node 9 9 is created and 9 node has value 9 data data value and n7 is uh, the left uh, child and uh, the mm, there is not any right child similarly you can see n4 n4 is uh, a node uh, that has both children right and left children so n3 and n9 so you can see I have uh, created all nodes and then created to create this tree just uh, tree dot set root so uh, a tree just need the address of the root node so so tree is returned right? so this tree is created and then uh, the set root is done here and then uh, tree is returned so we have now created this tree so we can test it so see out if this uh, function is uh, uh, successfully executed we we will see we we can write here uh, tree is created with uh, root node and here we can put uh, um tree dot uh, get root node so this uh, is a pointer so we can uh, put here uh, we can get it sir okay let's see so you can see here uh, tree is created with the root node 14 right? so this way we we can create um, create a tree so so you can uh, you can stop video uh, and you can type all uh, these uh, nodes and uh, you can create nodes and then you can set root uh, n4 and then you can see the uh, you can do next steps so to create these nodes we we have used the this constructor as you can see it is taking um, data and uh, left and right uh, pointers so now now uh, this tree is created now the question is how can we see all the elements in this tree so 
it is something uh, not simple as we used to do with the linked list uh, or queue or stack data structures because in in those data structures it was easy to print all elements uh, starting from the head pointer and then we uh, move to the next node next node because these uh, data structures are linear data structures so whereas uh, the tree data structure is not linear so its uh, traversing is a problem so uh, we want to print all the values stored in the nodes of the tree but the problem is in what order should we print them that means from where to start uh, which value should be the first value and which should be the next value this is the problem so you may heard about these uh, uh, these different ways uh, suppose we have a binary tree having just these uh, three nodes 14 is the uh, root node and 4 is the left child and 15 is the right child so for this uh, very simple tree we may have six different ways to print this tree small tree 4 14 15 4 15 14 so in th in this uh, case um, uh, you can see uh, first element is the left child and in the uh, second way 14 4 15 14 15 4 that means this is the root node root node is a first node and in the third case mm, third and uh, the last uh, case 15 4 14 15 4 14 or 15 14 4 so there are many possibilities so as you know this uh, the binary tree is a recursive data set in case of a general binary tree that means uh, we have just three subset uh, uh, root node and uh, left subtree and uh, right subtree so if we represent root node with n and l for left subtree and r for right subtree then we can have these uh, uh, six uh, possibilities l n r l r n n l r n r l r l n r n l so these are possible uh, six ways that we can uh, uh, six orders right that we can uh, traverse this is traversing traversing mean visiting or we can print go through the so among these uh, six orders three are common three are common pre-order in order post order so you have learned uh, these orders in case of mathematical expressions uh, here uh, we uh, we have same terminologies for uh, uh, binary trees so uh, later we will see that we can also uh, express the mathematical expressions using this binary tree and then the these orders you can understand that exactly the same order as we have discussed them in case of uh, um, uh, post order in order and uh, pre order convergence so what is pre order pre order you can see n is root node road is printed first and then left child and uh, at the end right child so because uh, uh, binary tree is a recursive data structure so uh, left subtree may have many nodes then uh, uh, the the n for the next tree we can again have the same same structure 
that mean the node and left subtree and right subtree so in in case of in order we print left node first and then the root node and then right node and in case of post order we we print uh, um, uh, left node and then right node and then root node for example uh, this is uh, something uh, uh, the output of uh, in order traversing so in order traversing is first is uh, left node left subtree then a root node and then right subtree so you can see here so first uh, first element is the three one that mean uh, this is a, a tree and then this is a, again a tree so we will move left left and uh, this is something uh, the uh, node that uh, has not any other left tree or left so this is the left it is printed first and then the node 4 and then the right 9 because 9 has further it this node has uh, again tree right so this is a left subtree and there is a empty right subtree so again it will move uh, then we will move to the left side this left side again this is a, a small subtree so then the end is here so 5 is printed then 7 is printed then 9 is printed then this node printed 14 so this is node and this is a left subtree so first left subtree is printed and then now we we will print this right subtree so we come to the 15 so uh, when we come here we we uh, first we need to look at the left side so uh, there is nothing so nothing here then 15 and then right tree and then this is something 18 we will look to the left and uh, then again left nothing we will print 16 and then right 17 and then 18 and then 20 so this is uh, something uh, named as uh, uh, the in order traversing so um, uh, we can we can uh, implement we can write a uh, function for in order traversal in two ways uh, one is here you can see non recursive that mean we are not calling a function itself again and again in this approach and another way is uh, using a recursive approach that mean we will use a recursion so first I will implement in order using a stack non recursive and then we will implement these functions using recursion and you will see that the um, uh, basically um, uh, using a stack using a stack uh, basically is an uh, alternate to the recursion in a recursion basically uh, behind this scene a stack is used as uh, um, uh, I mentioned in, in uh, one previous class uh, runtime sta uh, stack uh, is used to keep the variables and uh, the return values for each call each call of the uh, function so let's see this uh, this uh, the this is something uh, almost the C++ code but you can see say that the this is some uh, algorithm for in order with the stack that mean we are not using recursion at the moment and we uh, we are uh, going to write a non recursive uh, function and we need uh, to use a stack and here a stack s and then we have a tree node and we set uh, this node uh, as a root node this node 
and then while s is not empty or node is not null then while node is not null then s dot push node then add uh, uh, push the node push the node uh, onto the stack and then uh, go to the left side so left side of this node so this should be small n so then uh, uh, this this uh, loop will uh, continue until uh, the uh, we are going to left 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 and we reach the uh, null point and uh, then uh, if the uh, stack is not empty uh, that mean we we may have nodes on the right side uh, or uh, if there is not any node on the left side then at least we will have one node root node otherwise otherwise uh, there is not any tree so then we will pop out this node and uh, print out this node and then we will uh, mm, move to the right side and then this uh, this uh, uh, the outer loop will continue so let's implement this uh, this function um, uh, in order with stack so uh, binary tree here so let's uh, write here in order void in order Uh, with the with the stack this is the function name and uh, it is taking nothing and uh, we want to put here a const keyword uh, so it means that uh, this function cannot modify the data members so uh, it is something uh, in in order traversal in order uh, traversal using stack or with the stack so it means we we need uh, a stack data structure so let me copy this one here so it is a function template and uh, here is body and uh, this uh, resolution operator with the uh, class name we have added so so mm, we need uh, a stack so here we can include include stack so so this is something uh, is stack template uh, from STA. So this is built-in stack, right? So we can we can use. So let me put here something few few uh, STDC out. So few words um, we can print in order traverse traversal using a stack and we can move to the next line 
and then we can also have we can uh, uh, print the data in brackets so we may have a bracket at the end so we can write here so this is something that end of function so we can write here so we can have a stack this is a stack template so what kind of stack we need we want to put binary nodes pointers we want to store pointers of uh, binary stores binary nodes so binary node and uh, then of some type t and then pointer so it is uh, some uh, a st is a object name object of type stack and also we have we need a binary node of type uh, t and we can put here node equal to root this is something root pointer then while so this is the outer loop while while is not empty while um, not not empty so not st dot empty so empty function or or node also not null pointer so this is something condition then we have an uh, inner loop while node is not uh, null pointer then we need to push st st push dot push it is something node we push this node onto the stack and node uh, get left and we move to the left side this is something node node equal to node get left so we are moving to the left side so then if then if condition if it is not empty stack is not empty then we can we can have few if not empty then node equal to so this is a, a variable node equal to node and top it means top node is returned right and uh, st dot pop and this node is deleted and uh, this node is also printed so std 
resolution operator C out this node is printed so we will just have a dereference node and uh, you can put a comma so and then that mean these three lines remove the elements from the top and uh, uh, this uh, element is printed and then node equal to node get right so we want to traverse right side of the tree so it is uh, finished so this function is complete now so let's see let's uh, uh, test this function that we want this tree um, dot uh, in order with the stack so and then we can have C out so we also move to the next line there are some errors so this is something problem here so still errors oh, why why top is not a node ok this is if ok sorry sorry we have done mistake here st dot top right I am sorry I did mistake here so from this stack we um, we got the top element and st2 so yes still we have so many it is again we have something oh sorry again so let's uh, build this one now it's okay so we can run this one okay you can see here in order traversal three four five seven nine fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighty twenty so let's see the tree so this is our tree so three four five seven nine fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen twenty so this is something in order traversal so you can you can uh, similarly you can write a function for uh, pre-order with stack and uh, um, post order with stack so then uh, I will explain I will explain uh, the uh, the traversing through the uh, recursive methods 